Hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel. <laughs> okay, that was so ugly. Don't ever do that again, Irene. I won't. <laughs> okay, so welcome back to my Chanel, guys. As you guys can see from the title, we do have a story time. This is a new story time that I'm introducing. This is a part of my bully series. So we're going to get straight into it. But before we get into it, we have a sponsor for today. So we're going to get into the sponsorship. Then y'all come right back after watching it and hear this story time so boom hey guys so if you guys are not new to my channel and if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know that i have a segment on my channel titled the bullying series and if you guys see the title of this video this is another one of my bullying story times and honestly yes i do tell these story times for laughs and giggles but when it comes to these bullying series story times i am very 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 specific and intentional and in always giving you guys some type of advice either in the beginning of the story time or towards the end because i do not take bullying lightly i take bullying very serious during the time that i was getting bullied when i was a kid i really wish that i had this website or knew about this website back then today we're going to be thanking better help for sponsoring today's video and honestly y'all this is probably one of my most favorite sponsorships that i'm participating in because i do get a lot of dms from you guys telling me that you guys get bullied a lot in school and you guys do not know what to do and you guys tell me that my videos help y'all get through y'all's time period and honestly as I, as i am flattered that my videos help you guys get through a hardship in a time period. I, as a YouTuber, can only do so much. So BetterHelp is basically a website that specializes in putting you with a therapist of your choice. You get to choose the specific type of therapist that you would like. So you can talk to the therapist about your problems. You can talk to the therapist about the things that are going on in your life and everything like that. And the good thing about BetterHelp is that you get to choose your therapist. If you do not like the therapist that you're working with, you get to opt out and choose another one. There's all different types of therapists on the BetterHelp website. The good thing about BetterHelp and working with BetterHelp is that BetterHelp is used to make therapy more affordable, more convenient for you, and more applicable for you, honestly. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I have never been to therapy. Honestly speaking, I need therapy. I feel like we all need therapy. I've never been to therapy. And honestly speaking, if I knew about BetterHelp when I was in high school and I got bullied the way I got bullied, I'm pretty sure... I would have asked my mom to put me in better help back then because I needed it, honey. I really needed it. So definitely, definitely, definitely check the website out. Also, the link to the website is going to be in my description box down below with a code. With a code, my code, and it's going to be in the description box down below. So go ahead and check it out. If you're struggling with mental health, you're not alone. Like, I'm, I don't play about mental health like I I really don't like I'm not one of them people that just say oh if you're struggling no like I personally feel like in this life every one of us is going to struggle with mental health at some point in time and you need help like you cannot just stay to yourself like you need help you need people that's going to be that's going to surround you and going to love you and stuff like that you know the funny thing guys before I decided to work with BetterHelp I've been looking at BetterHelp's website for months now because I really do want a therapist because I need to just talk about my problems. I need to express my feelings and I need to vent and stuff like that. So definitely check that out, y'all. And don't forget to use my code when you guys check it out. And thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. We're going to get back into the story time. Like I told you guys, a lot of my story times are for laughs and giggles. But these bullying story times is to really inform y'all. To really just let you guys know that this too shall pass. These story times that I'm telling you guys are from years ago. But in that moment... I always felt like that was going to be my life and a lot of you guys messaged me and y'all asked me for advice on how to get through the bullying and stuff like that and honestly speaking guys I can only tell you guys so much but a therapist will be able to actually captivate you and tell you everything that you need to do to get through the situation you know not just a therapist alone but you know other factors but mainly a therapist so yes thank you so much better help for sponsoring today's video let's get straight into the story time so let me tell y'all what happened. Let, let me tell y'all what happened. You know the funny thing? Like I for I remember the I remember this stuff. I forget about it. I remember it again. I forget about it. Then I remember it again. And I forget about it. Like I it's basically what I'm saying is I always tell myself I'ma tell them this story and then I just forget about it. Cause like I still have so many different bullying stories that I can tell you guys, but I just be forgetting about it because I'm gonna be real like the bullying was very traumatizing so I tried my best to 
forget a lot of the things that happened to me in high school but this is one of these like I don't even know how this started and it just created a domino effect so let's get straight into it so boom. and now I'm just going to give you guys an introduction to how I got in this situation I do want to tell that story time I don't know if you guys remember the story time that I told with this guy that bullied me so much and then tried to talk to me on the low and I ended up exposing him if you guys haven't heard that story I had a class and the class with him that I had was called geometry and you guys remember I told y'all in that story time that we never really had a teacher we just had subs throughout the whole school year and at the very end this one teacher that was next to our that, that was next to our door ended up taking us in because she didn't have a seven period and I took geometry seven period so she just ended up taking our class in and teaching us like you know because she didn't have a seven period she ended up failing me because she said that I wasn't going beyond my limits I'm looking at her like who do you think I am? <laughs> you think I'm the nigga that's saying push it, push it to the limit, limit. Like, what are you talking about? I'm not going past my limits. Like, you know, somebody said, somebody was like, oh my God, this girl got a song for everything. I really do. <laughs> Let me get straight into it. But yeah, like, what do you mean I'm not going past my limits? If anything, nobody in that class was supposed to pass because we never had a teacher we never really did work nobody was really supposed to pass that class but she started talking about this she knows I'm smarter than what I put out she said like I know you're smart she said you know this stuff like she was like you are smart like she was like I'm looking at her like I am not smart I don't know shit about math but like that teacher looking back at it because I was pissed at her when she failed me because I know I'm brushing past this because this this part is so unimportant but I have to tell you guys this if you guys understand where I'm coming from none of us should have passed we did we did not have a teacher and the days that we would have subs we would not be doing anything in that class no work no nothing and then this teacher came and picked us up at the very end of the school year none of us should have passed that class if we're keeping it a buck so for her to fail me because she feels like I'm not going past my limits I'm looking at her like girl this is high school, but it's so crazy because like now that I look back at it, I can appreciate her. Even before I graduated, I appreciated her because I was like, she saw something in me that I never seen in me. Even though engineering was like very hard for me and shit like that, that's all we did was math. Everything in engineering had to do with some form of math. And so that lady always used to tell me like, you're so smart, you not you need to push yourself, da da da. And I'd be like, I ain't smart, but I mean, shit, I mean, shit, you know, all the math that we did in engineering, baby, I needed every little bit of math prep that, that I got in high school. So basically, because she failed me, I had to go back and retake the class, right? At this class, y'all have to understand, I am class of 2016. Um, I have never really had class with the underclassmen except for electives you know what I mean so I don't really know nothing I don't, I don't know nothing about being with the underclassmen I don't know nothing about that and honestly when I do have classes when I had electives with the underclassmen they just I don't know they didn't really bother me so at this time I'm in 11th grade and I gotta take geometry again okay right again get to the geometry and I, yeah I had to I had to put my hair in the front for this because this story time is just crazy y'all but basically get to the geometry class this big brolicky football kind of guy he kind of cute I ain't gonna lie like damn <laughs> if I gotta take geometry again to see you Baby, I jumped through hoops to see you. No, I'm just kidding. But he was kind of cute. I ain't gonna lie, he was kind of cute. So I seen him. He was this tall, brolicky type of dude. He was very, very tall. Like, you know how you got a little crush on your teacher? I'm like, mmm. Like, y'all, at first I was so embarrassed that I had to, you know, go to geometry class when all my classmates elevated to the next level of math. But baby, when I seen that teacher, I said, yeah, I'm liking this. So I'm not gonna give him a name because he don't really he don't he don't stay for too long in this story basically i went to the class um sat down it was a whole bunch of lower classmates class of 17 didn't think anything of it didn't really care i was just like whatever let me just get this grade i didn't i didn't plan on making no friends because i was not cool with like anyone from class of 17 like that i wasn't really cool with any underclassmen so i didn't plan on making no friends i just wanted to get my shit and get out of there right let's say about a week goes on like a week after school goes on and i end up seeing a sub for the professor that i told you guys about the the man he didn't come to school so i'm not thinking nothing of it i'm thinking maybe he had an emergency so we got a sub today i'm not really thinking anything of it but as the days are going on that sub is literally 
teaching the class how to do the work and i'm looking like i don't know about y'all but most subs don't really teach how to do the work they just you know kind of be like here's your work da, da, da. but he's trying to like teach us a little bit of how to do the work and i'm like where's our professor you know numbers start going on around the school and people basically said that the professor got into it with one of the students and one of the boys hit him the the guy that i was telling you guys about <laughs> one of the boys hit him and baby <laughs> That professor put them, he put them paws right back on him, y'all, and the professor got fired. So I'm looking like, is this a part two? Like, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that I, that, that you, y'all failed me for geometry just to come and fail me again. Because why are, why is this a repeat? Like, what do you mean we don't have a professor anymore? What do you mean we're just about to start having subs all over again? Like like how it was last year. Like, it was just weird. So, at this point, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I knew it, though. Like, my spirit kept telling me he's gone. Because I did not see him at all. Not even in the hallways, nowhere. We started having different subs. Like, how I told you guys before. We started having different subs. Every two, three days, we started having different subs. Now, what I will say is this class was not as bad as my old class. My old class was terrible, y'all. Which caused subs to not want to sub our class. So, basically, let me tell y'all what they would do basically the subs will sub this is the last year's class the subs will basically subs all sub all the class and then ironically we were the last class of the day which was seven period those subs will get sick and say they can't sub us i'm like y'all just don't like us our class was bad y'all like when i say bad i mean our class was bad now this new class that i was in was not that bad they were a little talkative you know they like to talk and you know converse with each other they were not that bad you know what i mean i just was like okay whatever i guess we don't have a teacher so we just started getting a whole bunch of subs but then one day this african sub came in and we're gonna name him we're gonna name this sub we're gonna name him oga no i'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, we're gonna name this uh baba <laughs> to all my africans they're about to be like i really what <laughs> what are we going to name this sub uh, we're gonna name him we're gonna name him ola now look, why do i keep playing <laughs> we just gonna name him prada we just gonna name him prada because i don't know whether the man is yoruba i don't know if he's evil i don't know what he is but we just gonna name him prada <laughs> So Prada comes in and this motherfucker walk in with a briefcase, baby. Baby, I knew he was our permanent sub. Y'all already know. Well, if you guys went to school, I don't know about you guys. Sometimes when they can't find a teacher replacement, they give students, they give the class a permanent sub. And when he walked in, the way he walked in with his suit, the way his legs were slacking and shit through the door as he was walking with his briefcase on the side. Bitch, he, I knew he wasn't just a temporary sub. Like, I knew he was our permanent substitute teacher so he comes in he puts his briefcase on the table he opens up his briefcase he takes out everything he needs he starts taking out pens pay, uh, paper he starts taking out markers to write on the board so everybody is kind of like noticing what i just told you guys too like everyone noticing like oh this might be our permanent sub because he's actually writing things whereas the other subs just give us work and say do it you know he writes his name on the board and he basically tells us what his name is and he tells me tells us that he is going to be our permanent sub now this professor he did have a deep accent he had a very deep accent so um i could understand him but maybe i could understand him because i was african but honestly speaking y'all and I know some people might be in the comments saying, well, you, you African, so you can understand him. I'm going to be real with y'all. It's some African, like, men or women that have talked that I have even struggled to understand. So I know when I'm talking to someone that, like, I can understand their language. And then when I'm talking to someone that I cannot understand, even if I am from where they're from right so i'm not sitting here being by ass and i know you guys always laugh when i say it like that but i'm not but i could understand him y'all i could understand where he was coming from i could understand what he was saying he was trying his best to articulate so he says hi y'all he says my name is such and such i'm going to be your permanent sub i want to get it on the road i know we're behind i want to get y'all into learning about blah 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 i don't know where this girl goes what and the whole class starts laughing so i turned around like you know i turned around because i'm like who is that so i turned around and we're gonna give this girl a name we're gonna call her lizard no i'm just kidding <laughs> 
I'm childish. We're gonna call her Regina because she was giving Regina very much Regina vibes, but the looks was not giving, okay? But um, she was a mean girl. So we're gonna call her Regina. So Re Regina goes, what? So everybody laughing. So I turn around. Now let me tell you guys about Regina. I did not know Regina like that, but I knew Regina's brother because like I said, these are, y'all have to understand, these are underclassmen. I knew Regina's brother because me and Regina's brother were the same age. We were in the same uh, class and we had classes together. So I knew her brother very well, but I did not know Regina like that at all. I just used to see her in the hallways, you know, here and there, see her on socials, right? And also keep in mind that they were African, they were Nigerian. So when I seen that she said what, I didn't really think anything of it. People started laughing and stuff and the professor says like young lady what's your name and she says uh, regina and so he's like okay well like what what were you asking like why'd you say what she said i mean i'm just saying like we can't hear you and he said oh do you want me to speak up and she was like no like your accent is is distracting us and the class started laughing again so bitch i don't want to hear nobody in the comments talking about Oh, they probably couldn't understand him. No, 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 no. Y'all already know where this is going. Y'all already know where this is going. Whenever people in high school used to, when we used to get substitute teachers that were not American, that were foreigners, all of a sudden people can't hear no more. All of a sudden it's, what are you saying? Open up your ears, baby. Open up your ears. And y'all already know they do it to the Africans. They do that shit to the Africans the most. And they do that shit to the Indians the most. So I was just like, oh, here we go. And the thing is, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with not being able to understand what people are saying. We come from all different parts of the world and we're like a melted pot. You know what I mean? So it could be difficult. But it's a thin line between saying, hey, I do not understand what you're saying and trying to be funny. And I personally felt like, Regina plus the class was trying to be funny and I was just very much looking at Regina like you African <laughs> you know what I mean like this could be your papa this could be your uncle like you never know like Africans you never know like there's been times at school at my university that like I've had African professors say I know your dad and they will literally tell me who my dad is and I'm like how the hell do you know my dad or like it's a link between so this could be your uncle this could be a guy that your people might know and you're 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 making jokes for for laughters of the class so it was just weird like it was just weird and you know he was being nice to her and he was like he basically was like i'm sorry if y'all can't hear me he ignored them laughing at him and everything you could tell he was uncomfortable so he slowed down his speech and he was like i'm sorry if you guys cannot hear me i know i have a thick accent i come from africa and he's just re-explaining everything that i just told you guys to them again and at the very end of him talking regina's like that's way better and the class starts laughing again <laughs> this is the third time i didn't miss the joke what is the joke like what's funny about this like it was just weird it was just very childish i mean looking back at it we were in high school but it was just very childish it was very weird and it was just weird like it was just weird like that's the only thing that i can explain it to make it make sense right at this point the days go on he's trying to teach us how to do the work regina is doing the same bullshit she's saying i can't hear you now she has her um friends um chiming in they're like we can't hear you we can't hear you it's it's a lot like the kids are talking over him my job remember i told you guys in the beginning this class was not a bad class every other sub that we had that they, they just you know did little talking here and there this wasn't a bad class but all of a sudden that this teacher come and teach and all of a sudden it's a bad class and one thing about this teacher y'all at first he was trying to act nice and shit when they was being rude to him but baby he put his foot down throughout the middle of the school year he started arguing right back with them like they would be like we can't hear you he would be like then open your ear open your ear and i'll be in my head i'm like go go uncle yes tell them about my yeah like i would be like yes because it's like y'all trying to be funny for what like i don't like that because that could be my dad that y'all could be doing that to you know it was just a lot of weird behavior going on but like i said y'all i did not care to be friends with anybody in that class i personally was just like i'm here to get a grade and get out so i didn't talk to anybody i didn't have conversations with nobody in that class like not a soul there was this one guy that sat next to me he, i think he liked me i think he liked me a little because he used to try to have little conversations with me but i would keep it very short like i was not trying to talk to none of them they were kids to me in my eyes at this point one day i asked the professor i forgot what i call him prada i asked Prada if 
I can go to the restroom. And he's like, yeah, you can go. And you can tell that Prada took a liking to me. Like, Prada actually liked me. He did not like anyone in the class. I'm not going to say he didn't like anyone in the class, but he actually liked me. He used to have conversation with me, and he knew I was African. He also knew that Regina was African. As a matter of fact, before I could see you with the bathroom situation, found out her last name, and he was asking her, like, are you African? And she was like, mm-hmm. You could tell, like, she was kind of not embarrassed, but you could tell she didn't want that to be highlighted. And I just was looking at her like, this girl's not really proud of where she comes from, which was weird because our high school was a predominantly African high school. Yes, we had Black people and Hispanics, but our high school was African Central. So it was just weird that she was ashamed to say that she she was African because we were not the minority at that school like we ruled the school type shit so it was just weird but she a lot of her friends that were in that class were African American so maybe she was trying to please them I don't know so you could tell she was a little embarrassed and like he laughed like the professor made like a chuckle he was like <laughs> and I knew like it's funny cuz when the professor laughed I knew where the professor was going with that like on some like you in this class clowning my accent and stuff doing all this extra shit and you African like you really African doing this like this could be your dad type shit so it was just weird the situation was just weird and it rubbed me the wrong way like it was just weird but I like I said before did not say nothing to them because that I ain't know none I ain't know them like that right so I asked the professor one day if I could go to the restroom of course he tells me that the queen can use the restroom because the queen gets what she wants so I end up going to the restroom or whatnot and guess who I see in the hallways y'all <laughs> And y'all let me know as of when I get done with this video y'all let me know was I the one who started it and I, if I was I, I will I will take ownership okay okay because now that I look back at it maybe I was the one who kind of started this situation <laughs> you know how you really think about a story years later and you're like wow I did low-key start that but I don't know I don't know I don't, I don't I, okay let y'all just let me know at the very end of it y'all let me know let me rise up the brightness so basically I end up going to the restroom and I ran into her big brother <laughs> so he talks to me now me and her big big brother we had a love-hate relationship I even I wasn't really that close with him but we kind of liked each other but we didn't and I'm not talking about like in the manner of like 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 but like I he was cool but he wasn't to me he was one of them people that try to withhold answers like if he had answers he would not want to give it to you if you were not cool with him like that I used to ask him for help because he was so smart that boy was intelligent and he used to act like he didn't know what to do and I used to hate that so I didn't really care for him and he thought he knew everything he was a know-it-all but I seen him in the hallways and he talks to me and He's like, hey, where you coming from? So I tell him, I'm like, child, I'm coming from algebra. I'm like, I'm coming from algebra. I mean, I mean, not algebra, geometry. And I didn't even want to tell him because, like I said before, this guy was the type where he liked stuff like that. Like, he liked to hear that people were doing worse to him. He was like that. So he was like, geometry. And I was just like, yes. And he was like, ain't you supposed to be in and he said the name of the math class that I was supposed to be in and so I told him I said I failed and so he was like how'd you fall how'd you fail so I just started telling him what I told y'all and he's like wow that's crazy and so he's like you know the funny thing and I'm like what he said I think my sister's in geometry right now and I said oh she is because you know the thing is when I seen him in the hallway I didn't think of his sister like me and him like I said I know him personally outside of his sister so I didn't really think of her but when he made that comment it just you know it reminded me like oh shit your, your sister I do have class with your sister so I was like oh shit yeah I do have class with her so he asked he's like how's she in that class yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Y'all let me know. Was I wrong? I went and told the boy. I was like, I don't know. And I kind of told the boy everything I'm telling y'all where how we had a professor. He got fired, da, 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 everything. And then I said that. And then I proceeded to tell the boy that his sister was a little rude to the professor. Like she was a tad bit rude to the professor. So when I told old boy this, he was like, Ugh the African professor and I was like yeah I was like just a little bit I was like just a little bit I said she kind of challenges him they used to get into little mini arguments like this girl was rude to the professor and the whole class used to just laugh they thought it was funny he was like that's weird and I was like yeah and I was like now she not like terrible I said other than that she don't bother me I think she gets her work done like I told him that straight up I was like I think she gets her work done and stuff like that I said I think 
what it is is her and the professor don't get along because I could kind of see that the boy was getting a little irritated that I told him that his sister did that but I I tried to sugarcoat it and say I think they just don't get along I think that's what it is so he was like oh okay so talked to him went to the restroom went back to class boom <sighs> next day comes in and I'm in class I used to get to that class early the class that I had before that class um used to be right near the other class so I used to get to that class before all of them right like I used to talk to the substitute and everything before class would start so I get to the class I'm sitting there the class is like pretty empty at the time and Regina walks in with her group of friends and when Regina walked in you know I just kind of turned around like you know how when people come inside the classroom door you just turn to see oh who here today type shit you know so I turned around and she me mugged the hell out of me y'all like when I say she me mugged me so hard her and all them group of girls me mugged me and I was just like I <laughs> bitch I'm dumb I'm like oh they not looking at me <laughs> she not talking to me like like what's going on what's really good so you know I just I look back and I'm like shit <laughs> I start playing on my phone so um it's crazy because in that moment Regina was like talking and you know how somebody's talking to the point they want you to hear what they're saying so she's like I personally just do not appreciate people acting like a fucking snitch going around telling my brother things about me like I'm a kid and like what and like her friends it was like two or three of them I don't remember how many and mind you they were in the class too so they're sitting in their seats and they're like girl period well they didn't say period I don't know what was popular back then but whatever was popular back then they were like agreeing with her they were like I know like how childish huh how childish and she was like very very childish like extremely childish oh, baby I'm typing on my phone because guess what guess what if it's not directed then it's not respected like if you have an issue baby come and talk to me but if you don't want to talk to me then don't talk to me like period I'm not gonna play them type of games baby move along at this point I'm just like oh she hot she got pressure on me type shit so I'm on my phone and I'm like huh <laughs> And then she says, and then hoes want to sit over there and laugh in the corner and shit. Oh, oh no, bitch. It's directed and it's not respected. So, bitch, I turned around and I'm like, what's the issue? She was like, I'm just saying. Like, y'all, she went ape shit. Like, when I say ape shit, y'all, she got out of her desk. She was like going like this. Mind you, me and her, we didn't sit like near each other in the class. As a matter of fact, we sat on the opposite ends of the class. Like I sat like in the front of the class. She sat at the way back in the corner of the of, of the class. So we were very far from each other. So she gets up and she just starts screaming, y'all. She was like, you're weird. She's like, you're a weird ass bitch. She's like, you want to go ahead and tell my brother talking about some that I'm that uh that I'm discriminating against the uh the professor because the professor African. She was like, bitch, why the fuck would I discriminate against the professor because the professor professor african i'm african dummy da, da, da. like she's just going off on me y'all and people in the background like mm -hmm. and more people are coming into the classroom and they're just watching her yell like they're walking around and they're looking i'm quiet y'all because i want to know why she's mad like i want to know what oh boy told her and like i told you guys before oh boy was kind of troublesome he had a habit of making things bigger than what it was and what i told the boy i didn't it was it, it wasn't just like I did tell the boy that, but I, it wasn't the way she was explaining it. She was angry, y'all. So she's going off on me and she's talking about how I'm weird and all this shit. And so she gets done and I said, um, are you done? And she was like, I ain't never done. I ain't never done. So the professor, mind you, the professor, it's like he wanted to know why we were beefing too. Because that, when she jumped up and screamed at me, he didn't stop her. He was like hearing like everything that was going on. He was like, like he his eyes got big like oh shit you went and told her brother type shit like the professor kind of was looking confused too so the professor he's like okay y'all that like that's not a that's not a fight he said I don't care he told the professor was telling her like Regina I don't have an issue with you I don't care like that's not a fight this this should not warrant a big fight like this so in my head I'm like bitch bitch yes it should because bitch this beyond the fight now if you think you finna be talking to me like you crazy because even if you got an issue with me Baby, you could come and you could ask me politely, okay? So at this point, I'm like, uh-uh, baby, it is a fight. Trust and believe. <laughs> Trust and believe it's a fight now. So I'm like, ho, I said, at the end of the day, I said, I'm, I said, I'm not trying to hear nothing. Because my thing is, like, if you come to me as a civilized human being and ask me a simple question, I'll answer it. 
But if you want to think that you're going to be yelling, calling me all types of bitches and hoes, bitch, I don't even care about what we arguing about no more, bitch. I care about my respect. So I told her, because she started talking about something, you need to explain yourself. I said, baby, let me tell you something. I don't have to explain nothing. <laughs> nothing. And I started getting very, I started getting very irritated. I said, I told him in what? I said, what's going to happen? Because at this point, you trying to be funny for what? In front of these girls for what? Like, I won't knock you down. Like, I'm going to put you down type shit. Don't play with me. So I'm like, what? Like, what? So I said, oh, okay. Yeah. So I started yelling. So at this point, y'all, the class is going crazy. Everybody trying to figure out what's going on. People talking about it. There's people that's coming in later like, oh, my God, like, what happened? So I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I was, y'all, I, y'all, when, when you, back then, when you could get, when you get me there, back then, when you used to get me there, it was very hard for me to come down, okay? So she's screaming, y'all. She's like, bitch, I promise you. Like, she's screaming. She was like, bitch, I promise you. She said, if I put hands on you, you're done for. Like, da 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 Like, basically saying she could beat me up. So, I'm just looking at her, and I was like, <laughs> like, I just laughed, because it's like, you're not really telling me nothing. Like, you're not telling me nothing that I'm supposed to be afraid of. You don't put no fear in my heart type shit. The substitute, he's still trying to stop us. He's still saying, ladies, it's not that deep. And he gets mad and he ends up saying, if you guys do not stop arguing, I'm going to call the monitor. I'm like, call him. <laughs> call him because, bitch, I'm not going to stop arguing with this girl till I feel like it. So you might well get on the phone and call Tyrone. Like, I'm not, no, call him. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. She's screaming, y'all. She mad. She all up. I'm still seated down because I'm not scared. So I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, that's just what I thought. Sit down, yeah. And I was I was making fun of her. I was like, oh, I said, big brother got you in trouble. Big brother got you in trouble. Like, y'all, it is crazy. And so then as we're arguing, she starts screaming, saying, bitch, I never liked you. She was like, that's why I don't nobody in this fucking school like your ugly ass you have beef with everybody because you're a weirdo nobody fucking likes you da -da -da. now pause i always had a feeling that this girl did not like me even before i took class with her but i could never put my finger on it but when she made that comment it just made sense i was like okay this girl doesn't like me from social media and if you guys are new to my channel my whole high school hated me and there were people that i didn't even know that hated me so she was one of them so at this point, I'm like, I said, yeah, I was like, you've been a hater. And I, y'all, I know how to, I know how to argue. That one thing about me, we gonna argue, baby. I'm gonna argue. So I said, yeah, you've been a hater. I was like, look at you. I said, you knew about me, but I didn't even know about you. Like, I'm talking my shit type shit. I'm talking my shit. So she was just getting hot. So he ends up calling the monitors and the monitors end up running down the hallway, mind you. The monitor's office was not that far from that class, so they got here quick. As soon as he called, they were down here in like a minute. And he basically told them, hurry up, like they might fight. Because she started getting closer. So at this point, baby, I stood up. Because, baby, guess what? When you getting ready to prepare for war, you don't sit your little ass down. You got to get up and get ready to prepare for war. So, baby, I stood up when she started getting closer. Because what? You're not going to charge me now. So I said, what you trying to do? Like, mind you, I got my hands up like this, right? guys in the class they're trying to break it up they're like no y'all like it's not that deep like y'all are y'all fighting over dumb stuff like it, it's a misunderstanding and it was one of the guys remember i told you that guy that liked me i think he liked me i think he took a liking to me because he just was not trying to like see all that like he did not care for that at all like he wasn't messy so he was like nah chill like y'all doing too much like chill so i was like i ain't doing too much because she coming close to me and baby I, i'm always ready so right when i said that this guy comes busting in the room and he pulls her out the class. Y'all, when he pulls her out the class, this girl starts screaming, kicking at him, calling me all type of bitches, hoes, saying that she gonna hurt me. Like, y'all, she was saying everything in the book. I do not care. I'm literally sitting there laughing. I'm literally laughing the entire time. I'm like, bye. Y'all, I'm childish. <laughs> I'm over here like, bye. See you later. Bye. Baby, I did not care. I, I did not care at all. I didn't care at all. Bitch, until they said I got to go too. Bitch, I said no. Bitch, I said no. Bitch, I said no. What you mean I got to go too? I ain't do nothing. Then I'm over there looking at the sub. Like, are you really going to say that I got to go? And the sub was like, yeah, she got to go. I'm like, bitch, I'm defending your dumb ass. What? No. 
out. So y'all, they made me go to the office too. They was like, uh-uh, baby, you're going to. It's not just her, you're going to. And we're gonna stop the story time right there. And I know, I know y'all like, damn, what the hell? Like, did you really just leave us with a cliffhanger? Yes, I did. And I'm very proud of it. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna leave y'all with a cliffhanger because if I get into the next chain of events, we're gonna be here for two hours. And as much as y'all wanna sit here with me for two hours, I don't. Cause I got places to go. So I'm going to come back and y'all this series is going to go by quickly. I'm going to try my best to tell at least one to two story times a week on this series. So we can knock it out the way. Cause I know sometimes y'all complain about the fact that I do not finish series or I take forever to finish series. And I don't know. I just don't like talking about the same story every week. I don't. I like talking about new things. So that's kind of what makes me you know take forever to finish one series but i love you guys so much and if you guys like this story time y'all let me know and please comment down below was i wrong or was she wrong just from that little part right there was i wrong for telling her brother that she does a b c d with the sub or did she blow it out of proportion y'all let me know down below i don't know i don't know at this point because now that i'm thinking about it maybe i was wrong <laughs> i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next one bye y'all